This is definitely quite a deep and profound topic that can go in many different directions because it's foundational and, and fundamental for an orientation of how we can be in this world. And as I was sitting with this topic and theme, I was being shown and realizing that it's really easy to not let love live through us. It takes a little bit more concentration and focus to really allow love to move through because all it takes is bringing something to mind that is uncomfortable or annoying or some injustice in the world or fear or uncertainty or doubt and boom, we are now not allowing love to live through us. It often sometimes ends with our heart tightening or closing or turning away. And what this passage is inviting us to do is to cultivate a deep bond with God, the beloved, divine light, Rinpa, ocean presence, whatever name you call it. It's inviting us to get vulnerable in this moment and do exactly the opposite of what our conditioning and fear wants. It's inviting us to stay put, ground, breathe, listen, ask for support, and go deeper into our heart. It's asking us to trust and have faith that we are held in this internal embrace of love always, always. And it's asking us to put all our trust in the only relationship that matters. But beloved, be with us. Beloved, let all of us feel your touch right now smell you, taste you, sense you, know your presence in us, around us, through us. Beloved, we are one with you. I am one with you. I am one with you. Thank you for this blessing. Thank you for this sweetness. Thank you for this love. Amen.